What is going on guys, welcome back to the free trading game collection. In my most recent video, I showed you a big pile of games in a car boot sale. Some guy had bought a collection and had taken what he had left to the boot sale, one pound a game, and was just selling everything off. They were mainly PlayStation 2 games, but there were some Wii and Xbox 360 stuff knocking about as well, as maybe the odd Xbox One game. I didn't get any of those, I bought purely PS2 and an accessory. Let me talk about that accessory first then, so I hadn't actually seen one of these up until recently and I picked one up uh, in a boot sale for a pound and here we are again I've got another one so this is the speed wheel or something like that for the Xbox 360 fully tested and working now this is my second one, although I have sold the other one to a subscriber and he wanted the Dante's Inferno strategy guide as well. So I did him a little deal and I've sold that to him. So we now have this one left. They have dropped the price of these in CEX. The trade price was five, it's now four. I will probably hold on to this for the time being as I was going to with the other one anyway. I wasn't actually looking to sell the other one, but because I picked this one up, I thought, well, I might as well. And then I've helped the subscriber out as well. Did him a pretty good deal there. So we have another wheel to put back in. This was only a pound. And then I picked up, I think, 13 or 14 PS2 games, all one pound each. But I did get a little bit of a deal on the bundle. So the majority of these games are in good condition. There were a couple there that weren't in great condition, although I do wish I'd picked them up. The first First of which actually is Judge Dredd. I showed this in that video where I was asking whether you think he could have got more in CEX or if he'd sold them online or whatever it may be. But Judge Dredd is a five pound game and obviously it was there for a pound. And had I bought it as part of this job lot that I got, I could have got a little bit more off it again. So it might have even cost me like 75 pence. It was one that slipped through the net. Unfortunately, in that scenario where there's about four or five different people in your vicinity looking through the same games you are, you need to be quick and you need to have a bit of knowledge. So well, and good looking up each and individual game on your CEX app, which I was doing and most other people were doing as well. But if you have a basic knowledge of things, it can help. So that's where some things have been good pickups and other things not so much. A lot of it I probably am going to keep for the collection anyway. And that's where we come into our first game. It is ISS2. Now I'm pretty sure I have this on the GameCube. Yes, I do. Uh, so I have it on the GameCube and I have it now on the PS2 as well. Why? It's a good question. I don't really know. They did have the first one there actually and I really should have bought that and, and there was a few other games that I really wish I'd bought as well they're not expensive I can get them again for like a pound or two pound or whatever it may be but they were in very good condition this was someone's pride and joy once upon a time it was a very good collection it had a little bit of everything and a lot of them had like cellophane wrapping over it to obviously try and preserve the case so yeah that's my first pickup and now you already have it why did I get it I don't really know I'm not gonna say that I've failed in any way here because yes they were a pound a game but like I said I did get a little bit of a discount this one in CEX is only 50 pence and I have mentioned this series of games before because it's a football manager or premier manager game it's 2005 to 2006 not played this on the PS2 I very much like putting old manager games into whatever console I've got them on and having a little look through the players maybe having a, a quick season I say quick as if you can actually go through a season quickly but I like going through just to see what the players were and obviously you can buy the players you know are going to turn into to be very good players so I kind of want to get as many managers games as possible that was there there were a few others and I may or may not have picked one or two of them up as well this next one I have absolutely no intention of keeping although I don't think I'm going to trade any of these into CEX because the value on the trade is just is not there I may look to put them on eBay or Vinted or something this is National Geographic Safari Adventures Africa yeah this is in really good condition as are most of the games I've picked up this is three patterns <coughs> <clears throat> this is three pounds to buy in CEX. I could probably get close to a fiver, I would imagine, because of the condition on eBay. Haven't actually looked it up, so maybe I can't. Maybe I can only get two quid. But um, if I can just sell two games here for a fiver, I've more or less broke even because I think I got 13 games and the wheel, which would normally have come to 14, but I think I got them all for like 10 or 11, one or the other. So if I can just sell two games for a fiver each, we've more or less made our money back here. If I had the accessory to go with this next, one we'd be looking at £10 by itself. This is Sega Bass Fishing, I think. Yeah, Sega Bass Fishing Duel. This was originally £1.50 in CEX. This is the first one that we have with this, you know, one of these little 
uh, covers on them to protect it. Yeah, it's it's not an expensive game. It's a pound in CEX. I probably won't get much more for it online, although it is in very good condition. So far, we are keeping two and we are looking to sell two because I don't think I want to keep that Sega Bass Fishing, although I don't think I'm going to get much for it. This next one is a keeper. I've only ever played it once. I never owned it, but I'd love to give this a go again. It is Celebrity Deathmatch. Have you ever watched this? Let me know in the comments. I used to absolutely love it when this came on TV. This is £3.50 in CEX. Of course, we got it for just under a quid and it is in immaculate condition. It has one of those little things on it uh, again. Uh, but yeah, really happy to put that into the collection and I'm looking forward to giving that a go. I know nothing about this next one. This is the Muppets Party Cruise. Again, another £3.50 game in CEX. So done really well there to get this for about 70, 80 pence. Not bad at all. It looks like kind of a Mario Party scenario where you get loads of little mini games and things. But either way, I don't think I'll be keeping it, even though I do kind of like the Muppets. Again, very good condition. Hopefully can get close to a fiver for that on eBay. I've never heard of this game before in my life. This is Crazy Chicken. Is it Crazy Chicken X or just Crazy Chicken? I don't really know. To be fair, the graphics and the art style of this looks pretty good. It does look like a duck hunt kind of scenario. Uh, I think I've got a list down here. This in CEX is four quid. And again, it's in pretty good condition. It's not an amazing condition, but it is in pretty good condition. So, and they're all complete. Every single game here has the manual with them as well. So you never know. Again, it could be another five pound game on eBay. I don't really think I'm going to keep this one. This next one may have to be bundled with a couple of the other lower price games or indeed a PlayStation. I have no idea what it is. This is, is it Rocket Power Beach Bandits? It looked like a, I mean, it does say Nickelodeon on it to be fair, but I mean, it looked like one of those games that could have some value to it. I picked it up just on a blind whim and hoped that it would be worth something. It's £1.15 CEX. I don't know, maybe chuck it on Vinted for a couple of quid or something. You never know, might get two quid for it. Maybe take it to a boot sale. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say a fail because it is worth more than I paid, but this will probably hang around for quite a while. This next one is a break-even kind of job. This is World War II Battle Over Europe. If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I have a deep-rooted interest in World War II and, and that conflict in particular. I just find it very, very fascinating. So this was to keep, even though it is not really worth selling. I think it's about a pound in CEX, so it would have been a fail, I guess. Uh, but at the same time, I wanted it anyway. Very good condition, and it's going to go straight on the shelf. This next one was a complete and utter mistake, accident, whatever you want to call it. This is High Heat 2003. I don't know how this ended up in the pile. I didn't want it. I picked it up and I looked at it, and it was one of those ones that could have been on Sports Almanac list that I have, linked down below. Uh, and I was umming and ahhing whether it was. I couldn't quite remember, and then I put it back thinking, no, it can't be. I don't remember typing that out. And rightfully so, it's not on the list. This is a one pound game. I put it back, but I must have somehow picked it back up again, or maybe I put it back in the wrong pile. Either way, I've ended up buying it and I didn't mean to. So I guess it's kind of a fail. Um, I will give it a go because you never know, it might be enjoyable, probably not. And from one mistake to another sort of, uh, I actually thought this was the second game, not the first game. Again, it's one off the Sports Almanac. This is Gaelic, uh, Gaelic Games Football. Ball. The second one is worth around six quid. The first one is worth about a pound. It's just not something you see that often and something that I didn't actually know existed until I made that list. So I picked it up thinking that it was the one that was worth about a fiver and it isn't. It's worth a pound. Again, I don't really know anything about Gaelic football. So it'd be interesting to put this in and see if it's even remotely enjoyable because again, I don't know the rules or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to give it a go and I'll let you know what I think at some point. But um, yeah, a bit of a fail because I actually actually bought that to sell and now I'm going to have to keep it. This next one narrowly missed out on a place on that almanac. It is uh, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. In fact, I think the only BMX game on the list is the um, XXX game, but this is around £2.50, £3 in CEX. It's in very good condition. I picked it up knowing the value of it. I, I did my research when I made that almanac and I knew that it would just miss out on a place there. So I thought, well, I'll get it because it's still a game that's overvalued compared to how much I'm paying. I'm paying just under a pound. This is nearly three quid. It's obviously not nowhere near as good as the Tony Hawk games, but you can still have a lot of fun with these. I'll be keeping this next one, but to be fair, I picked it up thinking it could be worth quite a lot of money. This is Premier Manager 09. I was trying to think of when PlayStation 2 would have stopped making games and when the Xbox 360 came out, for example. The Xbox 360 came out in 2005. They were probably out of stock for around 12 months, and it took another four months, I think, for the PlayStation 3 to come out. So the next next gen, if you will, at that
that time had been around for three years at this point and I was thinking well this has got to be worth a little bit of money this would have been the last one surely well it's worth three quid so not amazing but I always plan to keep it anyway because once again it is a football manager game so very happy uh, with that one uh, to be able to get it for 80 odd pence is, is pretty good and again it's in very good condition complete with the manual this is going to complete a very expensive list uh, compared to what I've paid anyway this is Echo the Dolphin a defender of the future a very good condition game because it is in one of these little things this is four pound in CEX in this condition on eBay again maybe a fiver who knows a touch more I'm really not sure but that was a little bit surprising because I think I got that last knock-ins and it was just on the top and I'm really shocked that no one else picked it up not that it's like oh my god this is gold and it's worth a hell of a lot of money or anything but people were picking up a lot of stuff there were loads of people circling and I saw people walk away with games that I knew full well were under uh, the price of what they just paid so a lot of people were buying 50 pence games for a pound other people got really good deals um, I didn't get anything amazing unfortunately and I do wish I'd bought that Judge Dread because it probably would have been the best purchase I'd made that day I missed out on a few Buzz Jr games which do tend to go for between 12 and 15 and that would have been a really really nice pickup but unfortunately I didn't now that one I will sell I do have a full list here of these uh, games games on the CEX website. I've put them all into the cart, apart from ISS2, which for some reason they don't have on the website. At least I can't find it anyway. But if I wanted to buy all of these games in CEX, it would have cost me £29.50 without the wheel and without ISS2. With the wheel and with ISS2, it would have been about 35 quid. And of course, if you need to pay for postage, you're looking at nearly another 30 quid on top, which is mental. Most of these games will probably be in stock if you go to your local CEX, providing you have a decent one with a nice ps2 section mine does have a pretty decent ps2 section to be fair so most of these games will probably be in stock in my cex but rather than pay the 30 pound plus that i would have had to in cex i've just got them for about 11 quid and the other really good thing of course is that most of them are in very good condition so they're either going to go well in the collection or they'll go well on ebay or indeed vintage because people pay up a little bit for condition we're not done there though i do have a couple of other pickups to show you they aren't amazing but one of them is actually pretty decent and there is a little tip in there as well i will get to that in just a second first of which though let's go through the two boring ones we have fifa 20 on the ps4 why have you bought that i mean it is the champions edition that doesn't make a blind bit of difference because i think the only difference in the editions of fifa is the ultimate team code that comes with it uh, this of course has van dyke on the front they normally have eden hazard on the front i think this trades in for a whopping 80 pence in cex they sell it for two pound 50 i am kind of half tempted to keep it uh to be fair not that I really enjoyed FIFA 20 or anything but it does have Van Dyke on the front I am a Liverpool fan um this was 50 pence as was FIFA 21 this one on the Xbox one this has got Mbappe on the front it is the Xbox one and Xbox Series X version this trades in for £1.60 so we are tripling up on that and they do try and sell it for a fiver so I may look to see if I can get more than I can trade it in for if you will on eBay I'm gonna try and be a bit stingy with it and see if I can maybe sell it for a fiver probably not who buys fifa 21 for a fiver these days i really don't know i think you can get it on ea play and most people have game pass if you have an xbox especially so yeah we'll see what happens there but for a pound for both of those we're gonna get uh, over two pound in credit anyway so we're not losing money but if i can sell them if I can sell them and maybe make a few quid, then why not? That's how slow this boot sale was. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move on to another pickup. Again, this was a bit of a shot in the dark because I didn't know whether this was going to be worth anything. But I thought, well, if anything, it'll look kind of cool on the shelf. Uh, this is a steelbook and it's Destiny. Destiny, as far as I'm aware anyway, is a free to play game. So they don't actually trade it in. But because it was a steelbook and complete and in pretty good condition as well on the PS4, I was thinking, well, steelbooks collectible destiny free to play sure but they're still collectible things and i had a look online and i might be able to get you know eight ten pound for this possibly and it was only a pound and i thought well even if i don't sell this and i keep it it does kind of look quite nice anyway not really a big fan of buying things and keeping it if i never intend on playing it which i don't with this game but when it comes to a steelbook and something that looks kind of nice uh maybe i'll make an exception but i am going to list it and see if i can get as close to ten pound as possible for this and then we move on to probably the best pickup and the, the pickup that I have a tip for as well. So you may remember last week, I think I picked up a Game of Thrones box set 
and it was in amongst a big pile of DVDs. This guy is like a house clearance kind of guy, I think, and he had like two massive bags full of DVDs, and a lot of them were sealed. If you've got the time, going through them and scanning every single one of them is probably going to be worth your time. There's bound to be something in there that other people have overlooked, and if it's sealed especially, and it might go for more on eBay, people like this, they only charge like 50p or a pound, you are going to make money. I was looking through them, one or two caught my eye, and I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, and then a white case caught my eye. Instantly, I thought to myself, that could be a video game, and indeed it was. It was Just Dance, Just Dance 4. This is one of the lower end uh, Just Dance games. You got Just Dance 1, 2, and 3 that are not really worth much of anything, and then you have this one, which is the first one that is worth something, and then they made them all the way up until like 2020, maybe even 2021. Those games are worth like 25, 30 quid, which is just mental. This one I bought for a pound. It's in tradable condition. CEX sell it for eight and they trade it in for five. So we are turning one pound into five pound. It's nothing amazing, but at the same time, it's a pretty good pickup considering I was just looking through a bag of random DVDs. So the obvious tip here is when you're going through a pile of DVDs, whether it be stacks of in a bag or whether it be on someone's stall or whatever, there may be video games mixed in. And I do see this quite a lot. Now, usually they are the likes of FIFA and they're not really worth anything. However, there will be the odd occasion where you find a Just Dance game that sells for eight quid. Now, I'm not going to go to CEX right now, trade that in and spend the whopping five pounds. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the FIFAs yet. So we may have upwards of around seven to spend in CEX. I'm going to wait until I go back to another boot sale. Maybe I can find another pickup on Facebook or something, which has been unbelievably bad. This morning, I found a box DSi for 20 quid and it does trade in for 40, but there are a few issues with it and I just can't be bothered to be dealing with the hassle of taking it to CEX for them to tell me that it's not in tradable condition and then I'm stuck with this DSi that I don't want. So I am being a little bit picky with things, but we do have another boot sale, all three, on the weekend. So hopefully I can find some things there. And then in the next episode, I will go into CEX. We may even spend some profit as well as trade a few things in. I'll keep you updated with what sells and what doesn't. The figures are going to be skewed, so they've sort of semi-updated on screen for you. But again, take it with a pinch of salt because I'm really not sure what's going to sell for what. I am tempted to sell off a lot of the stuff that I have that I don't really care about on Vinted and just put them up there for like like two, three, four, five pounds and allow people to make their own bundles, combine postage and whatever. I think that's probably the best way to do it, especially with like the PS1 stuff, for example. And I may do that with a lot of the Play PlayStation 2 stuff that I've bought today as well. If you want to check out another video from me where I did something just a little bit more exciting, you can click here. And until the next time, goodbye.